The Rise Hunting Horn is fantastic. Honestly, if there weren't any changes to it, I'd have a few things I'd be disappointed about, but I would absolutely feel confident in saying it would be the weapon I would use through my first playthrough. We have a lot of different rumors and leaks that have been introduced or are circling as we speak, but in this video I'm strictly going to be talking about the horn as it is in the Rise demo. There was a lot of talk ever since the idea of Rise was known that pretty much anything new that was introduced in Iceborne wasn't going to be able to make it into Rise because it was already in development. To no surprise, that definitely wasn't the case. If we look at the horn in the demo, it's very much a mutt that puts together some of the best things in Generations Ultimate together with some of the best stuff from Iceborne. So in this quick video, I'm going to give you a glimpse of where some of these new moves came from and why we owe a lot to Gen Yu and Iceborne. To start off, I'm not so much going to be talking about a move, but more so a quality of life improvement. In Generations Ultimate, the Hunting Horn was still very much a fun weapon to play, but also very annoying at times for one simple reason. Your horn's available songs were not on screen. You had to pause the game and bring up the song list. From then on, if you wanted to see what songs were active or what notes needed to be played for the songs, you had to access the menu. Mid-hunt. I think it's pretty obvious how this could be troublesome. Yes, you could move around, but you couldn't actually play any notes while the menu was up. Then comes Worldborn, and it brings along the simple change of having your songs and notes on screen at all times. Thankfully, this has carried over to Rise, and they took it a step further even, giving you the button you have to press inside the notes themselves. Now, of course, the songs are a lot more simple to play, seeing as how it's two of the same note in a row, but having what buff each of these note sets do are much more convenient than you think. And who knows, we may get more complicated songs in the future, and we'll definitely be thankful to have this. This is also a good example of Capcom taking something from previous installments and continuing to improve upon them. Now we move on to an actual move, the solid damage dealing wombo combo of the Magnificent Trio. You get plenty of hits off with a single press of two buttons after you've played a note from each of the three possible sets. But where have we seen this before? You actually may have never seen this before if you've only played Worldborn. If you're a Valor Hunting Horn player, you know where this came from. When you're in Valor mode and using the Hunting Horn, you can use a recital that differs from just pressing the button to activate your recital or when you're outside of the Valor state. Now if we look at these back to back, we can definitely tell where this animation came from and can be thankful for the sick damage we'll be doing while we play it. Valor Hunting Horn was my favorite style to play in Gen Yu, so I was absolutely hyped when I got to see that this move made it into Rise. Moving on, we arrive to a move that I'm beyond excited to see in Rise. After we play the aforementioned Magnificent Trio, we can follow it up with an Infernal Melody. You take your horn and give it a quick spin to do a great burst of damage on the monster. This is one move that Worldborn Horn mains absolutely treasured. This is a move that actually was a late addition, as it didn't come until the Iceborne expansion, and when it did, horn mains went nuts, and for good reason. The amount of burst damage you could do with this attack was crazy. While it seems like this move has been slightly nerfed in comparison and is locked behind a gauge, it gains an additional benefit of giving a solid buff as well. We might even get to use this in a similar fashion as we did in Worldborn, but we'll just have to wait and see for that. Finally, we come to an attack that I feel like isn't getting enough of a spotlight for just how amazing it is from a utility standpoint and even the solid damage it can do. When you use the Perform move, you get some delicious iframes and damage while your hunter maneuvers in a slick way and applies the self-improvement buff. As soon as I saw this move, I was immediately drawn back to the fun time I had playing Adept Hunting Horn in Gen Yu. When you land an Adept Dodge, you have the option of pulling off a sleek, slippery, and safe recital that you can clearly tell is the move they perform in Rise. Obviously, the move in Rise is a direct upgrade, seeing as how you can pull it off anytime you want while still retaining a level of invulnerability like you had with the Adept Dodge. I cannot stress it enough, you need to be using this move way more to stay aggressive and keep yourself in solid positioning with the monster. So there you have it. Thankfully, the Horn and Rise will be a combination of some of the best of the previous entries and all they had to offer. I won't speak to any leaks or data mines, but even if this is the totality of what we'll have in the full release, I'd still wield the Hunting Horn proudly. 
Discord and Patreon links are in the description below if you want to join our community or support the channel. Comment down below what you want to see from the hunting horn that we haven't seen just yet. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Rise, Monster Hunter, and other gaming content. Streams, reviews, guides, and more. Dudes forever, have a good night, and happy hunting.